thought about um, instead of trying to do another full demo painting that I would just do some small cards um, with different effects on them and I can get through more different examples that way than trying to do a full painting. Basically what I did was took a quarter sheet of um, watercolor paper and just divided it into thirds. So three across and three down and then cut them into little cards. So these ended up being what uh, about three five inches by about three and three quarters. Um, or if you have little five by seven um, blocks that you can get like from Fabiano or um, I don't know if Arches makes them that small or not, but that would work as well. Um, and the nice thing about these is you could actually, with Arches anyway, you can work on both sides. So you could make up a little collection of these um, and use them for future reference. Here's a couple that I did for practice. This anyway, morning. this is basically um, my favorite triad, which is French Ultramarine, and Indian yellow and permanentism crimson and <clears throat> I sprayed some granulating fluid on after I, I wet the paper first put on some pigment from watercolor sprayed in some granulating fluid just let it sit for a couple minutes and then I took some uh, Prussian blue ink and just ran a line down through the middle and then dropped in some water and then just allowed the paint the pigment and the ink just to kind of do its thing and that's the thing with uh, working with granulating fluid and inks and things like that you have to be a little bit patient because um, when you first put it down you don't necessarily see what's happening you kind of have to let it do its thing just kind of wait a little bit, and watch what it's what watch what it's doing, and then work with it. Um, and it will separate. Um, and sometimes you need to move your board around a little bit, let help the paint move. Um, and if you actually want to direct the color in a certain way, you can do that with your tools. But um, just have to let it do its thing. So here's uh, this is uh, one of watercolor. This was one I just did with ink by itself. Um, this is Prussian Blue and um, Payne's Gray, I think. Um, and then just a little tiny bit of granulating fluid. But really, the ink works just as well with water going through it um, to push the ink around. And when the ink and the watercolor pigments collide, it causes the ink to separate. And so, you don't necessarily have to have granulating fluid to get some good effects. So anyway, <clears throat> those are a couple of practices. So this is basically what I do uh, for this. I just um, tape the paper down to my board. So it gives the, I'm able to uh, keep the paper fastened down and it also gives a nice little white border around the edge. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this time I think I'm going to do some earth tones. So, let me clean up my palette here real quick. <clears throat> Up. 
Okay. Another piece of paper towel handy. My spills. Okay. Now let's uh, let's grab some raw umber. And before I put this on the paper, I'm going to spray it just a little bit with water. Give that just a second to set in. I don't know if you can see that very well on the, my camera setup isn't all that great so I can't really get very close to the camera to show you details but I will try afterwards to get a little closer so that you can see some of the details here. So um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to prop up the back of this board a little bit so I can get some gravity working for me. I to make sure I don't get my head in the camera as well. So let's just drop this in fairly heavy pigment. together on the paper and uh, just a little bit of pushing me to give us some green. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is drop in some granulation medium. Gonna let the gravity take that down, work it around, let it do its thing. Gonna help it here a little bit. see here already we're getting some nice granulation up here I, think I want some more pigment you just kind of have to go back and forth between dropping in pigment dropping in water dropping in granulating fluid and you can't be stingy with your pigment if you want to get these effects. Okay, let's let it go this way a little bit. the camera so I hope this stays within the frame.
that Prussian blue is going toward teal. I don't like that in this particular little mini landscape. Again, you never know how these are going to turn out. You just kind of have to let them do their thing. You want to try to, if you can, to leave some of these uh, white spaces in the paper. And that comes from when you spray, the spray doesn't hit the paper 100%, right? It just leaves some dry areas and the pigment will flow around those dry areas if you're careful and you don't put too much water on there. Uh, you can leave some of that white area in it. it adds interest. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but we really got a lot of really nice granulation here. Um, separation of the different colors and the pigments. So you just kind of have to just now be just be patient and wait for it and let it do its thing. It's hard for me because I just want to keep messing with it. I just want to keep doing things to it. But at a certain point, you just got to stop and just let it go, let it do its thing. Yeah, I really like the way this is turning out. Okay. Um, Let me dry this with the hair dryer. I don't normally use the hair dryer for drying, but This is what we ended up with. You can see some really nice granulation in there. And this is just watercolors, this is not ink. So 
So some people ask, well, how did you do the side of that hill with the barn? And this is pretty much what I did with that. Um, use a lot of granulating pigments, a little bit of granulation fluid if you want to, and water and gravity. And let it separate out. Leave some dry spaces on your paper so that the pigment will flow around. And so you just have to use your imagination how you would use this in your own painting. You know, maybe it's a landscape, maybe, you know, maybe this is the side of a barn or an old rock. Who knows? I mean, it's all up to you, your imagination. But that is, um, I guess, a first demo of how to do the granulating.